Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 36 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So I'm going to be explaining another question that might be asked to you when you're studying this type of information. So when you're studying the basic percentage equation, one of the questions that might be asked is something like this. This is slightly different than what I covered in the last tutorial. So if you don't see the difference, please go back and compare the two. So you might be asked 16% of what is 2. So in the last case we were actually solving for the percentage but this time we have the percentage. We know it's 16 percent and the is remember is our equal sign so basically this is P our percent the percent of so let's just kinda of put that in parentheses and say that's P so 16 percent our percent of is P and then the what of what the what is our base? Is is just equals and it equals the amount. So P times B equals A. So really this time we're going to be solving for B, our base. So for this question we know what our P is. It's 16 percent. And so 16 percent times our base is equal to 2. So what does our base have to be to make this statement true? Well in order to work with the math here Basically, 16%, we want to write this as a decimal form so that we can do some math with it. So we're going to get rid of this percentage sign here, and then we're going to move the decimal two units to the left this time, giving us 0.16. So 0.16 is the same thing as 16%, just written in a form that we can use in our equation here. So 0.16 times b is equal to 2. So now to solve this, we simply divide each side by 0.16. And 0.16 6, and 0.16 cancels, leaving us with b is equal to 2 divided by 0.16. And we could spend some time to solve this, but I'm just going to say plug it into your calculator. And you'll find that it's equal to 12.5. And that's our answer. So 16% of 12.5 is 2. So that's our answer. This is our base number. If you take 16% of this number, you'll find that it's equal to the value 2. And you can actually even plug that into your calculator. You can do 12.5 times 0.16, and it should give you the answer 2. So let's do a second example of this method here. So this time we have 14% of what equals, or is, rather, is 28. I could have put equals there, it would have been the same thing. So here's our percentage once again, 14%, the percent of, so this is our P. So the percent of what? The percent of the base is is our equals, the what was the base, and 28 is our amount. So in our case we have 14, our percent, 14 percent times the base is equal to the amount, 28. And then we need to translate this into decimal form so that we can do some algebra with it. And so 14 percent, moving the decimal two units to the left, and getting rid of the percentage sign gives us 0.14. So instead of 14%, we're just going to write 0.14 times b is equal to 28. And divide each side by 0.14. Divide by 0 0.14. 0 0.14 cancels with 0.14, giving us our base is equal to 28 divided by 0.14 and just plug that into your calculator and you will find that the answer is equal to 200. So 14 percent of 200 is equal to 28. So if you were to take the number 200, multiply it by 0.14, you would find that the answer is equal to 28. Thank you guys for watching, have an excellent day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.